Hey Tools friends, welcome back for another shadow day. I'm going to start this episode off a little bit different and I'm going to read a comment from somebody that they left a comment about a year ago on the channel and I just want to go talk about it. So the comment is, I am curious, when you ride with all the gear, do you feel like you are safer and that you can take more risk? And then there's a, there's a couple other personal uh, comments in it and then it says, be brave, be free, and enjoy the ride. And then I left a comment explaining why I do what I do. And I want to hear from all of you below. So we're going to hop on this 2007 Honda Shadow Spirit. And we're going to go ride and talk about it. And then I want to hear from you in the comments as we ride what you do to keep yourself safe. So I want to start this video out by saying I don't care if you wear gear or you don't wear gear you do you you ride your own ride we can all make our own decisions so it's not I'm not here to pick on whether you do or you don't it's just a mere topic to have a discussion about so this was a great question by I don't know if there's a a blah, 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 subs I can't even talk the vibration of this thing I don't know if they are a subscriber or if they were just passing through the channel and I've had that comment just kind of sitting waiting to talk about it a little bit more so my response was one the obvious I wear a helmet for many reasons but one reason is this the camera it'd be a little bit harder to moto vlog without a helmet on to be able to hear me yeah there's ways you know I can lean up closer to this camera and talk that way but it just wouldn't be the same so that's one camera microphone all in the helmet also this helmet has Bluetooth communication so I'm able to talk to my wife mrs. two-wheeled when we are out riding so there's another benefit and we'll talk more of some of the other gear as well and not just helmets coming up one of my main reasons I wear a helmet I don't feel wearing a helmet allows me to take more risk you know that was in that question do you feel you can take more risk by wearing the gear absolutely not I think every time we swing our leg over a motorcycle we know we're taking a risk by getting on that motorcycle the gear is just one way to help minimize the severity of an injury if there is one now will a helmet completely save your life in the event of an accident and that would be you know I don't know if any of us would know that because it just it really depends on the severity of the accident I do know though that many times when somebody is removed from their motorcycle in a manner in which they do not want to be removed the likeliness of your head skipping across the pavement is it's there it's increased and even if you are just stopped and you fall off your bike there's a good chance you could just hit your head just the way you're sitting on here the way your legs will kind of hook the gas tank or the seat or whatever it is on your way down you're probably going to go a little bit more head first you have more body weight on the upper portion of your body to kind of help you know the law of physics right so that's one reason I wear a helmet I personally know people that are here yet today because they were wearing a helmet and one of them is my father and I know I've talked about this from time to time in other videos but the year I was born my dad was in a motorcycle accident he was hit by a guy turning left that didn't see him and he broke his leg but his head his helmet had a gash in it and he to this day doesn't know what caused the gash if it was the curb or whatever it was but 
maybe he would have been okay without a helmet, but I feel that helmet saved his life so I could grow up with the father that I had. And that was kind of one of the, the big reasons I decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to wear a helmet when I ride because I need to be here for, for our kids too. Have I ridden without a helmet? Yes, I have. It is freeing. It's a completely different experience. I like it. I do feel a little bit a little bit more vulnerable. I feel a little unsafer. I wear appropriate glasses to protect my eyes, you know, by law too. But you still get stuff in your eyes. You get hit in the face with bugs and rocks. As you all know, Miss Two Wheeled and I both like to ride without a windshield and this right here is our windshield. Do I still get stuff in my eyes wearing a helmet? On occasion, but it's usually when I have the main visor open and I just have my tinted visor down. And there are some gaps that allow for some debris to get in. Well, I can't tell if that was a rock or not. Or a nail, because I pick up what I can. I should almost pull in there and go check. So I know other people as well that their lives have been saved because of wearing a helmet. Yes, if you're just going out and being a little bit more careless and reckless, a helmet's probably not necessarily going to save your life. I mean, if you break your neck, if you have some internal injuries, you know, from impact, obviously a helmet's not going to save you. I would rather wear a helmet and know that if I do go across the pavement, which I hope I never have to experience that, but I want to have a face. I want to have skin. If the rest of my body is beat up, I at least want to have my face. I don't want to have facial reconstruction and all that. And yeah, I guess a helmet, you know, you could still have that, but it does protect pretty well. So what do you all do? Do you wear a helmet every time you ride? Do you go without the helmet to be free? What's your experiences? Do you, can you kind of relate to what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't care what you do. And I appreciate this person's comment. I hope that she doesn't think I'm picking on her by any means, because I'm not. Ooh, that was a little bumpy. It felt like I was going to jump. You know, and not only just wearing a helmet but gloves I have ridden without gloves and it feels really weird to me I have just always decided I'm gonna protect my hands and my face now I could be better about protecting other things but that's the two main things that I wear every time I get on a motorcycle or should I say nearly because like I said I have ridden just I don't know, a little in between cases. It's usually not very far, like across the parking lot or just around the neighborhood just to test the bike after doing a repair or maintenance or whatever the case. If you are removed from your motorcycle from whatever nature, your hands are probably going to be one of the first things that are reaching down. And then like your shoulder and your head and then your hip, of course. So I wear gloves just to protect my hands in that event, but not only that, but just the overall, like, I know it's hard to see from your angle, but the knuckles from meeting oncoming cars, which are throwing rocks, the bugs, whatever the case. That's why I wear gloves. Yeah, it gives me these funny tan lines, and you might slightly be able to see it shaded today because it's kind of a cool day. But I got funny tan lines, and those of you who wear gloves and ride motorcycle with short sleeves on can attest. I do on occasion wear my leather vest, or when it is cooler, I do wear a leather jacket. I wasn't planning to go all the way around the lake. I might turn around and go back the other way. I'm going to turn around in these storage unit parking lots. I don't want to go that distance today. Not on this shadow. comfortable on this bike. I mean, it's fun to ride. I just... Well, we'll just go through this neighborhood. 
I just don't always want to ride this bike. I am sitting, it's like I'm sitting in an uncomfortable chair. So I think I've done a video on this in the past of like what kind of gear you ride when you're riding. But it hasn't been completely talked about like we're talking about today, specifically about helmets. And there are studies that show like the difference between a half helmet, three quarter helmet, modular helmet, full face helmet, and their safety and what the percentages of the impact zones are. And I'm not gonna share all that with you today. If you're curious, you can look it up. You can get a beginner's handbook, beginner rider handbook, because I know it's talked about in there, like, like the, the cheek of the helmet is like 16% of the impact zone or something like that. I, I forget what all of those are. It's, it's been a few years since I've looked through that book. Yeah, there's times riding, it's 90 to 100 degrees out, riding with the helmet on. I got my shoes, I got my jeans, I got my short sleeve shirt. Sometimes I might have a vest on, but if it's that hot, I probably don't. Because I do like to be as cool as possible. And then wearing this black helmet in the sun, it just, yeah, it just gets kind of hot. Now I know where my neighbor's out fishing. <laughs> a lot of times I ride with my main visor down, or up, I'm sorry, just to keep air flowing, but for sake of recording it gets kind of whistly can you hear that and obviously it's going to change the microphone sound for the most part i can keep it closed today though it's a little cooler so do i feel like i can take more risk by wearing gear no if i had a full track suit on with all the highest protection i could get or even if i had one of those cool little uh, backpacks or the suits that inflate if you are removed from your bike I still wouldn't take risk that I don't need to take I would, I would still ride the same sometimes I ride aggressively and whatnot but it's because I know my limits I'm riding my own ride and I'm not going to put myself or others in any inherent danger you know like this guy no helmet kudos you know I don't, I don't uh, pick on him one bit at all. And I say that because you might feel like you shouldn't wear a helmet because the others around you don't wear a helmet. You might fear you want to fit in, so you're not going to wear a helmet because none of your riding buddies are wearing helmets. And you're going to feel out of place. And I don't care. I, I don't. I could be the only one wearing a helmet. Well, I know if Mrs. Two Wheels with me, she's going to be wearing one too. And nobody else out of a group of 50 other riders. And I wouldn't care because it's my personal decision. South Dakota doesn't have a helmet law. If you don't want to wear a helmet, you don't have to wear a helmet. I know Nebraska repealed theirs because of Sturgis. I don't think North Dakota has a helmet law. And I don't think Minnesota does either. I don't know. I just never ride into any of those states without a helmet, so I just, I know I'm going to be covered. There, I gave you quite a bit to comment down below on. What kind of helmet do you have? Mrs. Two Wheeled and I probably should be looking at upgrading our helmets. These are starting to get a few years aged to them. I do want to get a helmet that I don't have all of my recording contraption on. Okay, now is a chance to look and see. I'm probably being a little dangerous, but it might have just been rocks. I don't see anything. Okay. Maybe it was further back. Maybe I just run it over. We'll find out. But we're probably in the market for needing a new helmet. And I thought about getting a helmet that I don't have all of this stuff on. And I need to change my camera equipment anyway, so then I don't have all this stuff. A lot of this stuff is specifically because I run a GoPro, and it's a dinosaur of a GoPro. And if I upgraded cameras, yeah, I'm going to spend some money. But if, if one of you want to donate, please do. 
<laughs> if you want to contribute to any gear or camera, P.O. PO box is in the description. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, in all seriousness, I do need to upgrade, but I want a new helmet that doesn't have all this on or it can be easily removed. This isn't removable. The mount does not remove. Yeah, the main camera housing does, but all right, stay here. doing but I want to just be able to throw a helmet on and not have to worry about like pe people looking like what's that on your helmet and I guess it creates conversation and whatever else but oh I still got my blinker on all right did I say it all do I need to pull over and read my comments again I don't take any extra risk I just ride how I normally ride if I didn't have a helmet on right now I'd ride the same way but it's going to be pretty rare, rare to catch me without a helmet. And if you do, I'm not going very far. It's just a neighborhood ride through our residential area. I don't travel long distances without it. I mean, it protects from the wind, protects from the bugs, protects from everything else. So leave us a comment down below if you are new to the channel and this happens to be your first video you're watching. Go check out a lot of the other videos. There's bunch of Honda shadow videos in the shadow day folder there's a bunch of Honda Fury videos in the Fury video folder there's Road King photos there's Mrs. Two-Wheeled photos there's learn how to ride fo photos I'm talking about photos here videos 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 in the folders somehow that changed to photos folders and photos photos can be found on Instagram and Facebook under Two Wheeled and Mrs. Two Wheeled. But if you are new to the channel, go down and click that subscribe button, ring the bell so you're notified for future uploads and activities. Give this video a big thumbs up, it really helps the YouTube algorithm, lets me know that hey, you like this video. And especially leave a comment down below because then I know you like content like this. You can relate, we can have a conversation, you can get to know me. Hey, I do have eyeballs. But until next time, Two Wheeled friends, peace out, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.